So my name is Dr. Hamed Nino Lowo. I'm a vascular and interventional radiologist. I actually left Nigeria when I was 16 years old and I had all of my um, tertiary education um, in the United States. Um, I had uh, my training at the University of Pennsylvania in vascular and interventional radiology and I worked um, um, in Pennsylvania for a number of years before I started my practice in Nigeria. The field of vascular and interventional radiology is a very unique field in medicine and it's revo revolutionized medicine in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, so we perform a lot of procedures uh, that use imaging, either ultrasound, um, CT scans, or fluoroscopy to basically enter the human body without having to open up the human body. So the, the, the unique thing about our procedures is uh, patients could basically be awake uh, a lot of times during the procedure. You could be having a major procedure done and you'll be awake during it. And it leads to very early recoveries. You could go home um, right after your procedures in some cases, and in some cases uh, by the next morning. So compared to surgery, it significantly decreases uh, downtime for patients and also decreases our complication rates in a lot of cases. My journey here at Eureka has been very interesting. I did a search for a period of time looking for an organization which was, who was proactive and had all of the equipment that I needed to do my work here in Nigeria. And it was, it was very easy to find Eureka and set up uh, my practice here at Eureka because they were very proactive in basically getting us all of the equipment that we needed if they didn't have it or had the equipment on ground already. And since then, we've pioneered a lot of amazing cases in Nigeria. Um, we did the first portal intervention in Nigeria where we did a bypass of a liver without having to, uh, to open the patient up. And what does that mean? Essentially, we connected the heart to the, to the vessels that fit the bowels going through the liver again without having to open the patient up. And all of that was done through a little nick in the neck. We've uh, pioneered uterine fibroid embolization, uh, prostate artery embolization, treat, uh, treating men with uh, enlarged prostates. When patients bleed internally, uh, the only option that was available before was to open patients up in order to go find a bleeding vessel to, to plug it. And that's morbid surgery for a lot of patients. Here at Eurocare now, we have patients being flown in from all over Nigeria, sometimes West Africa, to be flown in here to, uh, to our treatment center because we could stop bleeding without having to open patients up and do it by minimally invasive means. So my journey here has been quite interesting just because all of the procedures that I'm used to doing um, in America, routinely, it's all novel here in Nigeria, and we've been able to continue to, uh, to, to toe that road into making sure that we could continue to pioneer uh, minimally invasive medicine here in Nigeria. So w one of the other big things that we've pioneered here in Nigeria is the treatment of peripheral vascular disease, which is basically treating people who have blocked arteries in the legs. Diabetes, for example, is a major epidemic here in Nigeria, and a lot of people have diabetes. What happens to patients with diabetes is the vessels in the legs stop blocking, and when the, those vessels block, those patients start, start to have things like ulcers in the leg, and what, when that happens, that, in, that leads to amputations, which means cutting people's legs off. We've been able to decrease the rate of amputations in these patients by reopening those vessels in the leg, again, with minimally invasive techniques, going into the artery and putting in balloons called angioplasty to reopen those vessels and recreate blood flow to those legs. And it's a big difference when a person has a leg or they do not have a leg because we've shown in medicine that when you cut off somebody's leg, the likelihood that they will die uh, within a year is about 60%, especially older people uh, with diabetes. So being able to salvage those limbs is something that we've been able to do successfully uh, quite, a, uh, quite a bit here at Eurocare and something we, we continue to pioneer. Uh, medical tourism is a big deal in Nigeria, and that's something that you know is uh, is been known that Niger mo me medicine in Nigeria generally has been non-modern. What have we changed here at Eureka? What we've changed is that we brought the expertise that people are used to going out to meet abroad, and we brought it to Eureka. One of my biggest prizes here at Eureka are my partners. We have one of the top neurosurgeons in the country, one of the top urologists, no, one of the top cardiologists, bariatric surgery, orthopedic surgery, and so on. And being amongst these people is just a source of pride for me. And we've been able to work together in, in, in doing collaborative patient care in order to recreate the same environment that patients are used to outside of Nigeria and giving them that care here in a very collaborative means. And again, the biggest 
the biggest assets that we have here at Euracare is the combination of all of those specialties in one small building, and we're able to build on that to, to deliver excellent patient care.